top one. I'll do this top one. I'm, I am going to hit this just just to show you. It, it's kind of. Um, You know, a, a greater aesthetic look is with no dust, no bumps, no nothing, because everything that you paint over um, will detract light, okay? So when you have something very smooth, baby butt smooth, and you're painting over that, and the paint's laying out, and you don't have bumps and dust or anything like that, nothing's detracting that light to all different areas. It's basically has a nice uniform sheen, okay? And I know that this, you say, well, this is not that much. It is, actually it is. Because this is actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this on, it'll be shiny, blah, blah, blah. But the reality is, um, this is this is gonna be shiny, obviously, because yeah, it doesn't, you know, it, you know. And because, you know, it's been sanded a little bit, it's got a few little things in it, but the reality is, and I didn't do any of this, but so I'm gonna paint this and then I'm going to paint a little bit of this just to kind of show you the difference or whatever. But, um, and then also remind you, this is still a little bit tacky and that's going to play a little part too. But it is what it is. That's going to make the paint drag even more though, correct? Yes. Yeah, it is. So normally I would, um, I mean you can get away with dry brushing it as long as your strokes are around the same. But normally I'll wipe them off. So. You wipe the edges off. Yeah, or you can dry stroke it like that, and that's fine on this particular coat. Now, would you wear a respirator working with that, or you? Um, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, that's a no. <laughs> that, that's a no. We, I got the no. I've been sucking this stuff in for. Close to 50 years ago. It shows, Bob. Yes, it does. You're the most well-preserved person. That's it. I've been mummified from the outside in. Let's try up another one, Bob. What's the worst it can do? Give you cancer? Yeah. Yeah. He's our man. Somebody got to die from something. That's right. We'll both die from the outside. It still covers. Yeah, you can see how I, I picked up a bunch of crap. And all that crap was from me sanding. That was all in corners. Yeah, all my corners. Yeah. I just grabbed it and wrapped it. But it covered well. It did, it did cover it well. We're not going to judge you on a few crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> so you can even see, look, I'm using um, what's left over in the brush. <coughs> yeah, that really spreads. We don't have a chrome free environment. That's a whole bit of those. Mm -hmm. so look at that. I used what's left over in the brush. Well, don't show David that. I want to see <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I primed it? <laughs> there were parts of that where I was just jamming the brush in there and, yeah. and spread. Yeah, at the end, I didn't, I didn't want as much left in there, so I just. So you show them you got that now. Now you're going to be, oh boy, half the time for material. <laughs> so remember, this was cut. You get an hour this was cut sure. a heck of a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, do you need two cuts or six cuts? No. Nah. <laughs> So, I should have done this. Now, let me flip this over. In other words, we can never have too much time, Dave. No. no, we can never have too much time. If I can get it. <laughs> Again, disclaimer. No, this is the uncut. This is the uncut. Rest that. Yeah, that's basically what he's doing. I can physically see that you're physically pushing that yes, wire. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I still be busting that first panel. I'd be like, fuck, that fucked up your work. I'm fucking out of here. Quite a fun thing, Diana. Yeah, you, you want it, to, you, you're gonna, your you know, wrists are gonna feel it. I mean. 
You can see I, I hit there first, I started stroking down. It's very heavy here, so I'm going to continue trying to drag that and pull it down. Otherwise, it will curtain on me. Right, this is starting to set up even quicker. But you're getting the gist of it. And unfortunately, these brushes, the new ones, they do shed a little bit in the beginning. Yeah. So sometimes I'll take thinner and I will. Um, um, I'll take thinner and, and just start cleaning it out or whatever, at least trying to get rid of some of the empty brushes. Bristles. Um, so you get the gist of it as far as what you need to do and how you need to do it as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. um, Pick up that curtain. curtain. Where? Right. The next panel down, panel? top. Middle panel? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're just in the head. <laughs> I'm not really a painter. I was at the Holiday Express last night. <laughs> um, that's the power of, of thinning at 30% right there. Way too thin to cut. But, <coughs> not saying you can't do it, you just have to do it a lot thinner. The, the cover seems to be twice what most products would do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's right. one thing. Yep. The coverage. Yeah, you tried that with Impervo. <laughs> yeah. So, or advance. Yeah. Or the latex Impervo, that stuff. And look at that. You know, I, I curtained and I was able to clean it up and, and I'm okay for the first coat and whatever. Obviously, I would sand it down and, and hit it with my second coat and cover it really well. But for the most part, it is what it is. So I guess basically, if it's going to get two coats, you don't have to worry about coverage. That's right. right. That's right. And that's something that you're going to have to retrain yourself in thinking. And the overlap. Yeah. Because domestically, you're always trying to cover it one coat and make sure because you're on a time thing. This, don't worry about the coverage, don't worry about, you know, um, you'll get it on the second coat. All you're concerned about is your, the thickness and being consistent. And on that first coat, are you wiping those edges normally, you said? Uh, normally I, I do. And then you're because, finishing yeah. off the door? Yeah. Or at least say for, for instance, that If you door. don't, and if you feather them out. Just follow. So you can feather them out on the first coat. Feather them out on the first yeah. coat, you're looking pretty good, yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. I mean, you're really thin. Um, you see how thick this stuff is. So by the time you sand mm -hmm. and then coat again, you know, they, 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 they they're almost shot. gone. Yeah. Then rag the second. Yeah, they're almost face. gone. But if you feather those out, then are you just finishing the door off? Um, if I were to. So you just did those three panels. You feathered that out. Then are you just going to yeah, start doing the bring it all down? Yep. Yeah. Continue on. Um, yeah. So that would be pretty much it. And the way I would do that here is, boom. Um, and then I'll even hit this and dry feather this in, of course dry feather this in, and then actually go down, go down, and then start here and go all the way down, all the way down. And that's how I finish off that door. And that's the, the and by the time you're done all that, you can look at your, your panels and make sure you're, you're good to go as far as whatever. But, um, you can tell a little bit of a difference from when it was thin, and when it wasn't thin, I could tell by me brushing how hard it was mm -hmm. to lay. Yeah, it, you could see how yeah. hard you were brushing. You really—that's another thing. These brushes are meant to take abuse, so you know, get in there and and use the ferrule. Um, use because that the, this is what the brushes are for. That's what you know, the, the money they are, because they're meant to be kind of used and abused that way. <coughs> 